Today's topic is what are the reasons many people are successful. One of the common thread I have found in people being successful is they have recognized they cannot do it all by themselves. I remember Oprah Winfrey talking once and said, you cannot have it all and do it all. Most of us suffer from the anxiety that if we didn't do certain things, nobody will do as good as we would do. And by and large, that could be true, although I have my own doubts. Sometimes I think somebody who does the same thing over and over again or has done the same thing multiple times in the past or has a better knowledge about a particular thing, they actually do that thing better than we would do. We probably may do it with more passion than somebody else because it's our conceived idea, so-called our baby, and we always try to protect our baby as much as we can. But having said all those things, most successful people have accepted the fact they cannot do it all. Well, what is the next best after we cannot do it all? The next best thing after we cannot do it all is to be able to delegate. And these are just rough numbers. I don't have any scientific data behind it, but I believe that if you took an example or a sub-segment of a general population of 100 people, I would probably think that about 80% of the people just cannot delegate. About another 15% or 17% will be able to delegate, but they will not be able to create accountability. And the last two or three percent will be able to delegate and create accountability. And the success lies in this last three percent because we all know I think that is an undisputed fact that you cannot do it all. No matter who you are, you still only have 24 hours a day. And there's just so much you can do in 24 hours a day. So forget that group of subset of about 80%. They just will not get there uh, in this process of delegation and creating a successful environment. Then the other 15 to 17 percent we talked about who can delegate. But if you can delegate, but if there is no accountability, most of the time that also fails because unless the person you delegated takes it very seriously and gets the job done, which is not necessarily the case with everybody whom you delegate to, the job will just sit in somebody's inbox, somebody's things to do versus in your inbox or your thing to do, it just won't get done. So creating accountability is equally important or probably more important than just delegating it. So how do we create accountability? I'm not good at many, many things, and we have talked about that many times. I always consider myself as an average individual or a slightly above average individual in, in the general population as far as accomplishments, intelligence, doing things, et cetera, et cetera, goes. But I'm good at one, one thing that I'm absolutely convinced that I can do better than, than many people I know of, and that is delegating and creating accountability. Most people think I have a great memory. In fact, I don't, but the structure that I have created and I'm going to share with you will explain to you how you can, just for to make fun of uh, our presentation today, how to make fool of people that you remember everything uh, when, when everybody knows that you just can't remember. The RAM memory of our mental computer is just limited. It's not like you put a chip in there and then you just keep expanding 
and everything is instantly recallable, uh, there is a limit to how much we can remember. And as we grow older and older, that also the, <laughs> the RAM memory also starts getting uh, eroded and you just don't remember as much as you could in the earlier years of your life. Well, science is at your help. And if you use it properly, then you can create this atmosphere that most people will think you remember everything and you create accountability. Because the moment people know that the job, the task that you have delegated, they are going to be accountable for it. Someday you are going to come back and ask them what happened to that. They will have better tendency to get it done. It still doesn't give you guarantee that it will get done. Because, you know, people love procrastination. They don't want to be procrastinators, but procrastination of the things that you don't like to do is very easy to fall into that trap of not doing it. So here is how I do it. The, first of all, any time I would like to delegate something, I would send that individual an email. And the email will say, this is the task, and what date can you complete that task? Now, there is a special program that has really worked for me, is besides Outlook, is Rike and it's spelled W-R-I-K-E. What you can do is you can actually create a follower in Rike. So let us say I want to send an email out to Richard who is filming this uh, episode today or to Micah who is directing the episode today. And I want to tell Richard that Richard let us meet at sometime next week to discuss about this episode. Uh, or I want to talk to, say, Micah and say, let us meet sometime next week to discuss this episode. What I would do is I would send an email in the Outlook to Richard and Micah, and then in the copy section, I would just say, uh, reich at reich.com. And guess what happens? The moment I send this email out, as long as Richard and Micah are a follower in the Reich software, that email will actually land in Richard's and Micah's folder uh, and it will stay there till I remove it. Now, once that is done, I can now go into the Reich platform and you sign in, and there is a connection as an add-on of Reich with the Outlook itself. So if you forgot to send the email out to Reich, you can always go back and, and assign this particular email to Richard or Micah if I wanted to, directly from Outlook without even sending the email out to, to Reich. But let us just continue our thought process, the standard way of doing things is once I send that email out to Reich, it sits in the Richard and uh, Micah's folder, I can then go and actually put a date on it as to when it needs to be followed up. And then it is sitting there. Then you can actually create a report out of it. So let's say you are communicating with Richard or Micah and you keep sending them emails and multiple tasks. So all, let's say I sent 10 tasks to Richard and let's say I sent five tasks to Micah. All of them will go and sit in their folder. And all I have to do is create a report, okay, how many items Richard owes to me an answer to. And here they are, all 10. Then I get on, I can either get on the call with Richard or I can send a reminder from Reich and then ask Richard, what is the status on it? The beauty about all this stuff is that it actually, Richard can also respond to this query or a task in the Reich platform. So we can actually communicate back and forth in the Reich 
without even going through the outlook. And that communication thread continues to stay there. The beautiful thing about all this stuff, it, it is also permanent. It just sits there forever. You it can take attachments, you can transmit attachments, it can change dates, it can change the way it want, you want it to look, it can change the way the report comes out. So now, till the task is done, the task doesn't go away. And every time I talk to Richard or discuss with him, I have it in front of me and Richard thinks, oh my God, he never forgot everything that he <laughs> talked about. And, and I look smart, but the technology has really helped me to make me look smart. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, this is a very, very powerful tool. Every time you have a thought process, you create a task out of it, in collaborate with other people that you deal with it, let them finish the task, suddenly you feel the accomplishment of doing it, and now you can have it all and do it all except you just don't do it yourself, you do it with the help of others. The only thing I would strongly recommend, the others that you choose, uh, find very efficient and intellectual group of people to work with you, and as long as they are cognizant about the responsibilities, they're knowledgeable about the particular task, I think you can accomplish multiple things in a 24 hour period, you can actually live 24 hours, 48 hours in a 24 hours. You can live 240 hours in 24 hours uh, by just multiplying this, this true essence of life that I think I've discovered of creating accountability into people by using this formula, this process, and I wish you all best of luck.